Hello and welcome back to Flywheel Films. Welcome back to the garage. A lot's been happening here with the Jeep. Got my top suspended and got the uh, mini top on and eventually pretty soon here, the actual soft top, which is the soft version of that top. That's all Jeep stuff. Many of you guys don't care, but if you do, there's another YouTube channel, Roads Optional, that I run that is um, all about uh, off-roading things. We got Jeeps, Lexus, uh, all sorts of things over there. Yeah, this is about the Miata. So I have a very special video in mind for you guys. Very simple, very short, because I am answering one of the most commonly asked questions that I get and what happens to be a comment on so many other videos not even about this thing. And that is, where the hell did I get this steering wheel sticker in the middle of it? Or how did I replace the horn? Or yeah, everyone wants to know, where did this thing come from? Well, I'm finally putting its own video together. This was one that I didn't even like plan. It was just a very generous gift from my friend Quan, who you hopefully saw my interview with him and his NC Miata, the Marvel NC1. So yeah, here's the whole story on where the heck you find this thing. So some quick backstory. Oh my gosh, my, my car is so filthy. <laughs> We're in that season in Colorado where every day it's sunny until about like 2 to 4 p.m. when it rains and then it's sunny again. And I've left this outside for a couple days because I've been doing Jeep stuff in the garage. But anyways, really brief story time. Last October, I went up the coast with a bunch of other Miatas. Super fun time. TJ, Vu, and Quan. We had such a great time going up uh, from L.A to Miata Reunion, which was at Sonoma in kind of the Bay Area. On that drive, about halfway up, Quan was like, hey, I have an extra sticker. Do you want one? I was like, sure, why not? I'll just throw it on there. And I was kind of thinking to myself, oh, I might take that off. It might look dumb. But then we installed it. It was super easy. Took like eight seconds. And it's literally in that video, which is right here if you click on the card. And that is the, um, yeah, the road trip adventure where I obtained this awesome mod um by the way i think one of my horns came undone so i need to like open up the bumper and fix that but horn aside this is not a horn replacement this is not a steering wheel crazy thing it's just a decal over top of the actual mazda badge looks way better this is the classic mazda badge like the hundred year old type one that they put out i don't actually remember what the the i don't remember the history of this but this is an old classic mazda badge and kwan had an extra. He has this exact one, a his steering wheel. I think he had a pack of four or something. So, hey, Quan, maybe we can give one away to someone. That'd be pretty sweet. Also, in case you're wondering, that is 60 millimeters. They have a variety of sizes on those decals, the resin stickers. And this is the 60 millimeter, which matches perfectly the center of the wheel. Uh, the way we installed it, by the way, it came on this, like, uh, I don't know, wax paper type thing. And we just peeled half of it back and then guided the sticker like lined it up and then gradually pulled the back of the sticker off the rest of the way smoothed it out perfect <laughs> i can actually tell you guys where it's from finally after some back and forth with kwan trying to figure out the source i have narrowed it down i've even contacted the person who makes these to make sure they still make them so without any further ado here in the back of the jeep is an Etsy page. So this is, uh, that's it. Favorite Plam Studio is the uh, store, I guess, on Etsy. They make this. Set of four silicon emblem with unique logo. Mazda for auto-tuning car into your center cap rims, phone rims, cap, and other best gift. <laughs> um, they have a variety of options. They don't actually show the red one on here anymore, but I asked them about this. I sent them a message and I was like, hey, uh, people are asking, do you, can you still do the red one? Can you do other custom colors? And they were like, yes, no problem, period, period. So there you have it, folks. That's where you get it from. The ultimate question has finally been answered. It's hilarious, absolutely hilarious. Um, so that's, that's that. That's really the main part of this video. But um, because I like doing things on my car and I just, May as well film everything. I'm solving another problem today. 
This is a recent Amazon purchase. I don't know why I never had one of these. I've gone 30 years without having one. Now I finally have one because on a recent cruise with some much faster cars, um, I was of course in the back of the pack because I was with, yeah, just a bunch of German cars, Ferrari and stuff like that. But um, a 911 was behind me. I was faster than a 911 only because it was brand new and he was in his break-in period. He mentioned my tail light was out on the right side. Now I've done a video on how to replace these light bulbs before, so this is nothing really new, but I just wanted to show you my troubleshooting steps. Uh, so the first thing I did was look at it, and that's when I figured out what was wrong. I don't know if you can tell, but there is just a bulb laying <laughs> in the housing. It somehow came out of its socket. So that's a bit challenging because if I, and then um, I've already made videos on how to pull the trunk panels out, so that's not too hard, but just a few push pop pins and you pull this out and you pull this out. Um, back in there is, yeah, where you get to it. And as you can probably tell, this is hard to film, that hole is not very uh, friendly to your fingers, I guess. So good luck fishing that thing out with just your fingers. Like I think I can actually put my finger in there and you can kind of see, see, there's my finger and I can move it around, but I can't actually fish it out. So that's why I'm hoping this will come into play nicely. This is one of those like grabber things where you, aha, it's really hard to film, but that hook comes out of it when you squeeze this thing. And it's also a magnet, by the way, on the end of it. So I figured this could be in hand, come in handy for a variety of applications, but this is one of them. So let's see if I can even do this. The issue is that if I grab it the wrong way, I won't be able to pull it through the hole because the hole is like barely bigger than the bulb itself. So I'm just going to do a very, very slow magnetic pull. No. Oh my gosh. Got it. Eighteenth try is a charm. So now it's back in the hole. I can put all this back together. I've, I've showed the trunk multiple times. It's really, really quite simple to remove all the trunk panels. And I am planning on installing my coilover extensions pretty soon here. So that will be another video where I have to once again use bits and pieces of the trunk. That's done. That's good. We'll see how long that lasts. This thing is super handy. I will be keeping this around for lots of future projects. But speaking of future projects, what are you guys up to with your cars? Summer is dawning on us. I mean, it's literally just about summer. Feels like it. It's like 80 degrees today out here in beautiful Colorado. Uh, so I'm curious what you guys are working on. I'll tell you a couple of my plans. You know, I did a video early in the year about my plans for the car. I have to go back and watch that to see what I said. But just initially, right up front here is Fly Me Out of Summer Camp. We'll be going over the mountains um, to get to Grand Junction slash Palisade where Fly Me Out is located. That's going to be a lot of fun. I was there last year. But I believe, yeah, I guess last year was the first year I had these wheels on, which was super cool. Um, but I did not drive on the track with these wheels. So I'm really excited to try that out. Um, I've got brakes, stainless steel lines, slotted rotors, but I need to get new pads. If you guys have any pad recommendations, let me know. But I'll probably go with the ones Fly Me Out I have. I think I talked to those guys and they have pretty solid pads. I'm going to hopefully remove the front bumper fix my horns. Um, I hear one tone, but not the two tones that I should be hearing, which they're both down there somewhere. Yeah, so I gotta figure out what's going on with that. And I have sway bars that need to be installed. So the sway bars are in a box in the garage. Gotta get that sorted. I'm a little nervous because, well, it's a little bit of rust under the car. Nothing crazy, nothing like catastrophic, just more than I'd like to deal with especially with sway bar end links. I had to actually cut off the front end links to replace them to get the coilovers in. So I'm really hoping that's not the case on the back, but we'll see. So this car, well, first off needs a wash, needs the horns addressed, brake pads before the track for sure. Sway bars will be awesome. And then we're looking good. So a lot of Miata events coming up. Hope to see you guys at some of them. Let me know if you'll be at summer camp. 
Um, I might do another video just on more of the preparations and of course there's more videos on installs coming. Sway bars of course. Um, coilover adjustable knobs, that would be really fun to get those dialed in. And brake pads for the track. Definitely check out the horn button if you want. Uh, reach out to that seller on Etsy, request whatever color you want. I love the red one from Quan. Huge shout out to Quan again. Big uh, appreciation from my side. And yeah, it's a cool little mod. I mean, all the things you interact with as a driver, like your gauges, your shift knob, the steering wheel, which I'd love to get a new steering wheel, but until then, the little sticker in the middle, really awesome. It's a resin decal, super high quality. I've been in hot weather with it, no issues. So can honestly recommend it. And the seller was very responsive, got back to me very quickly. So they have a black one if you wanna be a bit more subtle, but they also could do custom colors like red. So quick, simple video for you guys, a fun little vlog. I don't know, I gotta do like really simple stuff every so often because otherwise I'll work myself to death. So thanks so much for watching, hanging out with me, and I'll see you guys down in the comments below and I'll see you next time. Peace. Son of a bitch.